hurry. And I am the advocate for family friendly gaming. And with me is another advocate for no, family no, I'm just, friendly I'm just gaming. I'm bystander. I'm Peter. <laughs> I'm Burry, uh, teen. Uh, teen gamer. Words. And this is an FFG Chronicles. This FFG Chronicles we are so excited about. It's it's like a we're expanding, growing, developing, and coming up with something brand new, different ideas. We're constantly... Should we even call this an FFG Chronicles or an FFG yes. Defines? This is an FFG Chronicles, and this is... We're asking the question, the one question. And you probably already know this question if you've, you've, before you even clicked on the video because it's titled this. But what is love? No, no I'm sorry, sorry. What is fun? If it wasn't Baby, don't hurt me. If it wasn't copyrighted, I'd probably edit it in. <laughs> so, this is what is fun. And, and we're going to try to have fun with it, too. So let's start with the dictionary definition. Which one Over the, to you. Which one of the eight ones do you want? We got two noun, one verb, two adjective, and three idioms. I guess we'll start with the noun. Something that provides mirth or amusement, enjoyment or playfulness. Verb definition. Informal, joke, kid, adjective, informal, or of relating to fun. That's a real helpful definition. But we'll go with that first one. It's fun it's, relates to fun. Thanks. It's dictionary. enjoyable. It's it's mirthy. Mirthy? Was it mirthy? Mirthy. Mirthy. Mirthera. Mirth. Mirth. Provides mirth or amusement. Mirth. Mirth and airy. Gaiety or joyousy, especially when accompanied by laughter. Okay. So so when it comes to video games, what's fun? What is fun? I mean, think about this. And you can leave a comment below. Just make sure you keep it family friendly. Um, we have children on the channel, so make sure that you know you're keeping it safe for for kids. We, we do everything we can. We keep all of our videos advertiser friendly. What do you define fun as? You know, and that's that's also you know why you're here. We really appreciate all your likes, your subscriptions, and we certainly appreciate all the family friendly comments. What what do you find as fun? And we're going to kind of discuss this ourselves on camera. Live, you might be like, "Well, it's not live." Well, it's not live. It is recorded, it but is sort of. But we we do this in one shot, so it's like free form, free flow. We get the creative juices running sort of. and going and running and gunning. So, like for me, what's fun? I, I have a lot of different genres of games I find fun. Uh, Hint retro strategy SRPGs, uh, RPGs, sports games. Puzzle Older games. Ones. I like some of the new ones. I like Puyo Puyo Tetris. That's a new puzzle game. You uh, don't. You you seem quite opposed to Fire Emblem, even though it's practically the uh, same as Shining Force. I just don't see this good. I don't think it's better. That's just my opinion. You can disagree below. So th that's some of the things I find. And also, you know, I also I also find fun games that honor God. You know, uh, Christian video games like the uh, Super Nose art game. Super Nose, yeah. And and for for those that don't know. Um, we received a request for a uh, video series and that and has begun. The recording has begun. So hopefully within a week or two of this video coming online, it will be online as well. Yes, I got so. through like two levels or something. I got yeah. decent. And he'll be doing more recording or, or are you talking on it or not? I was talking. Yes. You were talking. Okay, so he'll he'll continue that game. In fact, actually, I think you were doing better than I could do at it. So. Yeah, it's because it's a first person shooter and I'm kind of used to the mouse. Yeah. My, my only grievance with the game is, or a couple, can't look up and down. But there's no this worst part about retro games. They did not invent this. It's only this. <laughs> so when there's something above me flying, I'm just like, what do I do? How do I? Yeah. What, what am I supposed to do? I have a slingshot. How do I feed it? <laughs> so, yeah, and you like some of the the, the like uh, the survival games, like the yeah. PUBG, the Fortnite. The, those are about more considered battle royale games. We also do play survival games like Ark. Yeah, Ark. Um, and you know, and I'll uh, I think some other games I enjoy playing. Okay, uh, I like some VR games like Job Simulator. You liked uh, Job Simulator is a lot of fun. Super Lucky's Tales. I was Super Lucky's Tales is a recent new game, and I did. I liked Super Mario Odyssey with the one exception. If you don't know what the one exception is, please read the review. It's on our website. Easy to find. Just you know, go to review section, switch, and you'll see it. The you know the page to Super Mario Odyssey. I, I liked it. Like I said, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. And we do have a video series of that one. I don't know if it's the first episode's yeah. out or not as of the time of this recording. I like Sonic Forces. That's a new game. Did we even play that yet? Yeah, I played it. Oh. I played it, reviewed it. Um, a while ago. It's in one of the e magazines, so it may not be online yet. And there was another game. Uh, I think it was Super Lucky's Tale. There's another one. Uh, Zoo Tycoon? The Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection. I like that one as well. I'll probably like the 
the Disneyland Adventures, the Connect. I, no, that's another thing. I like a lot of the Connect games. I I love playing Just Dance. In fact, if you watch our Just Dance um, videos, you know that I'm in the majority of them. I'm dancing yeah. most of them. How about we, Zumba? How about we talk about the irregular irregularity in what you play. If you look at everything that he likes so far, local or no multiplayer. Oh yeah, yeah. Now let's talk about the irregular irreg irregularity. Wait, before, before you continue, I don't like playing with others. Oh, then why do you like Star Trek Bridge Crew? That's one exception. Like I said, the irregularity. I didn't say that was a rule, but yeah, there's an exception. For every and, rule, there's an exception. And I've seen him play Fortnite, and I've been like, wow, if I only had the time, that looks like a game I could actually enjoy playing. You, you break things down, you get to build stuff. Yeah. Um, he, he did one time, him and the buddy, they got in a barn. Yeah. And they blocked the barn off, and they put a bunch of traps. Yeah, people just and, kept rocking in. And people kept coming into the traps, and they would... Take somehow, them out, take their somehow stuff. I still can't win a game of Fortnite, but in PUBG I can go win three games, no problem. <laughs> so that that's you know that's kind of our some of our impressions. Do you have any more thoughts on, uh, on you, fun games? You seem or? to like the single player. I find yeah. the online multiplayer more fun, mostly because you see split screen and everything really cuts the screen. Split screen does do that. In fact, as much as I like the Lego games, it does kind of bother me at times. Although, I, th I think it is neat that uh, there are some VR games that are now separating the screen from the TV yeah. so a multiplayer can there was that on one, TV. There was that one thing, strategy game we played where you'd throw troops and stuff. Yes, yes. I know VR you're was so much easier than the, than the TV, though. I can tell yeah. you that. So we switched off and you saw the, the TV was... Oh, yeah. TV was much, harder, it was much harder to play. I don't know why they didn't make the control scheme a bit better. Because it was optimized for VR. It's just a reach and grab. Yeah, but I mean, you could do that with the two joysticks, you know, it could be like two hands and then hit like the trigger buttons to grab, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, well look, I thought of a control scheme that worked better, you know, it would have been more fun. Or it could have been disastrous like Surgeon Simulator and every other game that has even had two hands. I have hands. never played Surgeon Simulator. Yeah. Okay, so here, here's the thing. So, Surgeon Simulator, you get, you, you pick up a scalpel. bravo, you deserve a medical degree just by picking <laughs> it up. Then when you try to make an incision, you sort of do one of these, you're just like... So it's got octo-dead physics to it. Yeah, just sort of, you just flop around. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'm looking around, I'm looking around thinking. Um, There's a Skylanders game, toy to game which have died. Yeah. Well, and you know, as much as I, I have enjoyed Lego Dimensions, it's so glitchy and crashes no, so often. No, Lego Dimensions is way too big, too many downloads for too Yeah, that's content. another problem. And see, that's another problem with, with the, the online is you're constantly hitting the internet, you're hammering your ISP, you're 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 just constantly having to. Those are that's not that's not like maybe we should do a video on updates because I'm so sick and tired of, of games constantly having to update. I mean. I like the updates mostly because I don't have to buy a sequel because that then every time they wanted to add new content it had to be like a sequel or something. No, I'm thinking about they're constantly fixing bugs. Bugs. Bugsies. 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 So you'd rather them leave a broken game out there forever? I'd rather them have it have it right before they release it. There's always going to be something they can't get and, right. And then let's, let's look at what Capcom did with Street Fighter V. We're going to give you, what, six, eight characters at the at beginning? At launch, yeah. And then every couple months we'll give you a character or two? What? I mean, the game wasn't done. They just Yeah, ARMS is like that. They're still adding characters, but I'm not going back. I finished it. Yeah, I, I just, I don't like that. I mean, I understand what you're saying if they add, like, real content, like levels or areas or maps or whatever, but if they're just adding a character here or there, it's just... I just get sick of it. But, you know, maybe you like online gaming. Maybe you prefer playing online with others. And I've, I've actually heard from some people that do. They're like, no, no, I really love doing this. It's like, okay, hey, that's your, if that's your belly wick, then, It's you know. different than playing with AI. The people who you're playing against actually have sort of weird strategy. The AI sort of has like a, a set pool of things it'll try to do in yeah. games. Then a human will do something completely stupid you would never see, and somehow it works. <laughs> like I saw... I saw a little video of somebody, I think it was Fortnite, yeah, the dancing. they started dancing. People were shooting at them and they had, of course, Stormtrooper aim with their shots. They were missing. And he decides, I'm just going to start dancing. So he's like dancing away, dancing away, dancing away. They come up, they start dancing away with him. He pulls out his gun and shoots and kills them both. And so I was like, boom, boom. that's uh, an interesting strategy. You, uh... it's, it's called uh, jibated. Um... <laughs> 
Uh, I can't think of anything else unless you... No, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I said, we really want your comments on this topic. We'd like to have a really healthy um, discussion on this. You know, maybe in a spirited debate. You know, what games you find fun, what, what you find fun in the industry, you know, trends and whatnot, and what you're looking for, you know. Uh, I can't think of anything else, so I'd just like to uh, thank everyone for watching. Say a wonderful rest of your day.